Bonjour mes amis, hi guys, about three weeks ago I showed you what I didn't realize back then it was probably the, the first video of the Tudor Royal in the metal uh, because it's a uh, release especially for the Asian market at least for the moment and uh, this popped up in the, in the window a couple of weeks ago I uh, didn't have the heart to go in the shop and try them then because I found them rather flamboyant and inside it's not too interesti interesting it is uh, ETA movements 2824, 2834 for the day date versions a lot of two-tone versions, four different sizes 41 the biggest, 38 and then a couple of more smaller sizes for the, the ladies and there's a pop star association here which is also not too inspiring and uh, adds to this uh, image of uh, a rather flamboyant uh, possibly effeminate <laughs> execution on the, on this very retro kind of watch which has a bit of um, Rolex uh, vibe from when they were doing those integrated bracelets the oyster quartz so anyway today I went to try it on uh, the blue ver blue versions actually are sold out for the moment uh, they are the more popular. I tried on the, the black one. This is the 41 millimeter version, day date with a 2834 movement. Fairly flat, uh, I have to say, quite uh, quite slim. Uh, this is the smaller version, the 38 uh, millimeter. And um, yeah, fairly uninspiring dial executions, uh, I have to say. And uh, I'm not fond yet of this uh, bezel. Uh, but here you go, I wanted to, to show you what it, what it looks like. And uh, here is the 41 millimeter version again. Um, honestly, not for me. It feels a bit like a, a cheap watch. I'm not sure what is the public for for this uh, model, which retails around the same price of a Black Bay 58, but really not as interesting. Well, staying with the uh, 80s vibe, uh, here is the uh, the new Breitling release. Very big watch. It's about as heavy as a bowling ball. Uh, pretty cool here with a salmon dial and the uh, black registers on that cool uh, bullet type of uh, bracelet fairly uh, fairly big but i can still uh, wear it on my 17 centimeter wrist and much more interesting this 39 millimeter retro vintage type um, release by breitling it's a limited edition pretty pretty cool with the 14 here it works but i wouldn't spend uh, what they are asking for for this it's over fifty thousand hong kong dollar uh, but I, I have to say it's one of the more handsome Breitling releases of the, the past years but still it's a fairly thick watch with a plastic uh, crystal here and uh, by the way I stopped by Patek and this uh, gondola on the right I think it's very fetching unusual but very cool in a Cartier sort of way and then finally uh, I had a look at uh, this uh, new release uh, from Seiko uh, I have to say this uh, golden dial version is uh, is quite nice and I really love the very smooth strap I would love to get one of these for my uh, my watches but uh, this model here I think the bezel is way too too thick just doesn't, doesn't really work apart from that I cheekily tried to register an interest for a possible new Submariner release at uh, Rolex AD uh, today, a couple of them, and uh, they just waved me off, offered me to buy a day just instead because uh, I have it on good authority now that um, unless you're a high spending VIP or a celebrity, you will not get a sports model anymore in uh, Hong Kong. So I just uh, instead put a deposit to get a bracelet for my uh, Zenith A384 Revival it will take a while before I get it. Uh, unfortunately, they had uh, the same watch with a bracelet here at uh, one of the shops, but they can't just sell you the bracelet. So I'll just wait it out. It's, uh, it's a cool watch and I hope it's gonna look good. So hopefully this video was uh, kind of useful for you. Let me know in the comments if you like one of those watches, what you think about the Tudor Royal, and I'll uh, speak to you soon. Bye-bye.